now nail our colours firmly to the mast of outstanding British contribution to cinema, given in honour of Michael Balkan. To present the award, two truly great multi-BAFTA award-winning Britons. He was sublime in the Grand Budapest Hotel, which was a huge success, critically and at the box office, although it did receive rather mixed reviews on TripAdvisor. Uh, while she has grown so accustomed to winning BAFTAs that during rehearsals this week she absentmindedly took one home that we did get it back. Thank goodness for eBay and the police. I give you the just perfect Julie Walters and the very fine Rafe Fines. Thank you, Stephen. You're doing a magnificent job. I wish I could have had you as my lobby boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, this year's BAFTA for Outstanding Contribution to British Cinema goes to an organisation that is truly passionate about film. They champion projects not because they think they're going to be huge, box office smashes, though many of them are, but because they are original, exciting, unique and just damn bloody good. It's an organisation that nurtures British talent, good homegrown stock, supported and funded by a British organisation which in 25 years has produced world-beating films. Let's remind ourselves of some of the wonderful work brought to fruition by BBC Films. I did it. Boy! What a wanker. They all have to do it, don't they? Boy, the best you can't take Essex out of the boy. Don't make me pump chat. No, Come on, I'm making you pump chat. Oh. That's how we deal with you. <sighs> I'm gonna lay down the rhythm track. Please don't. Wow. I enjoyed that. Delighted to tell you that the BAFTA for outstanding British contribution to cinema goes to BBC Films and collecting it on their behalf, the great, wonderful, glorious Christine Langham. Thank you, BAFTA. Um, I'm so incredibly thrilled to accept this prestigious Michael Balkan Award on behalf of the BBC Films team, past and present. 
It's a great honour for us to join the illustrious recipients, such as Peter Greenaway, Tessa Ross, Working Title, and the Harry Potter team. I know I speak for everyone in my department and those who've gone before when I say it's been a huge privilege for the BBC to be involved in uh, all these amazing films you've just witnessed and many more besides. Much gratitude is owed to the late, great Mark Shivers, who did so much to establish BBC Films. To David Thompson, who's um, defined it for so many years. Alan Yentob, who's been a constant support. And Jane Wright, Isabel Begg and Tracy Scofield, who all played a vital role. I especially want to thank Joe Oppenheimer and Zoe Brown and Michael Wood, who are at the heart of a very fantastic team today. And thanks to Danny Cohen and Tony Hall for their wise leadership. But the most important thank you of all goes to every one of the writers, directors and producers that we've worked with. Your passions and your ideas are the very origin of everything we do. We love bringing your babies to the screen, so long may it last. Thank you very much indeed, Buster. Now, fabulous news for all you supporting actress fans, because that's the very award we're about to present. And to do so, an actor recently seen in the entirely superb Selma, which was, of course, about Martin Luther King. Now, like the great Dr. King, I, too, had a dream. Last night, in fact. <laughs> the nub of it was that I was here and you were there and we had a really top-notch actor to make this presentation alongside a giant talking orange flamingo. <laughs> As you can probably guess, only part of this dream has come true. So please welcome a giant talking orange... No, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> Just being silly, it is, of course, the one and only Cuba Gooding Jr. Thank you, everyone. It's an honor to be here to present this award. However, before I do, can I say how deeply hurt I was that you didn't choose to kiss me earlier, Stephen? <laughs> what, a black man? Hey. No! Just getting at the little chocolate love soul in here tonight. <laughs> That's the first time I've uh, ever kissed a member of the royal family. <laughs> you are a member, right? Oh, yes. All right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Your lips are so soft. <laughs> oh. It has been an exceptional year for supporting actress. And the five nominees have all given us career-defining performances in challenging roles. Let's take a look. Rene Russo, Nightcrawler. The best and clearest way that I can phrase it to you, Lou, to capture the spirit of what we air, is think of our newscast as a screaming woman running down the street with her throat cut. I understand. Emma Stone, Birdman. You had a career, Dad, before the third comic book movie. Before people started to forget who was inside that bird costume. You were doing a play based on a book that was written 60 years ago for a thousand rich old white people whose only real concern is going to be where they go to have their cake and coffee when it's over. Kira Knightley, The Imitation Game. actual use of your life. And end up like you, no thanks. I'm sorry you're lonely but Enigma will not save you. Can you decipher that, you fragile narcissist? Patricia Arquette, Boyhood. Stop! Samantha, I'm doing the best I can. And you're right, it sucks. But it doesn't suck half as much as having a drunk fool slam your head against a wall. So cut your horse shit out of it. Put your seatbelt on. Imelda Staunton, Pride. Where are you from now? Really? Really? No. No way. Listen, Jesse. We don't mind the gays and the lesbians, that's fine. But don't you dare be bringing people from North Wales down here. <laughs> 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 
all truly amazing performances. And the BAFTA goes to... <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she will only understand when I say this. I'm serious about this. It's you, Patricia Arquette. Unbelievable. I have to say, you know, John Borman's movie, Excalibur, I think he made Mordred's mask modeled after this. Um, thank you so much, my incredible fellow nominees. I love your work so much. It's such an honor to be acknowledged with you. I want to thank IFC, Universal International, John Sloss, Jonathan Sering, Kathleen Sutherland, Ethan Hawke, you are an actor's actor. Thank you so much for being my fictitious ex-husband and making me a, a better actor. Eller Coltrane, thank you for being one of the wisest, deepest, most rooted people I know, and I know that has a lot to do with your real mom and dad. Thank you for being you. Laura Linkletter, thank you for your vulnerability and your bravery, but most of all, and Eric White, I love you. My kids, Enzo and Harlow, I love you. My sister, my family, my brothers, and my other sister, Alexis, I love you. Um, <laughs> and uh, I just really want to thank Richard Linkletter. I've been in many films, and many of them were not acknowledged till much later. True Romance was a bomb. It found its audience later. I have been in a work of art here because of you, Richard Linkletter. This movie has done th something no film has ever done before, no written film. You broke the rules of cinema, you broke history, you trusted all of us, and you made an ordinary story. Extraordinary. You made a story about love, and I love you, and I thank you. Wonderful. Many congratulations, and thank you, Cuba, for everything. Uh, probably the last chance to see before the franchise coffee shops and hotels ruin Cuba's character. Um, <laughs> faded charm, all those Cadillacs. Mm. Anyway, uh, the next award involves great skill, incredible concentration, and minute attention to detail, because it contains six syllables. It is cinematography. Oh. To present it to real talents, whom you'll have seen at their cinematographic best, in such as Bell, Nativity, The Hobbit, and Jupiter Ascending, please shake, rattle, roll, and applaud wildly for Gugu Mbata Raw and, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Martin Freeman. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Film is a visual medium, so it stands to reason then that getting it to, get, getting it to look the way you want it to is of the utmost importance. That's the task the five cinematographers nominated tonight took on with quite spectacular results. Let's take a look at their work. Mr. Turner, Dick Pope. The Grand Budapest Hotel, Robert Yeoman. Interstellar, Heute von Heutema. Here we go. Ida, Lukasz Zau, Richard Lenchowski. Birdman, Emmanuel Lubetsky. And the BAFTA is awarded to Birdman. 
Emmanuel Lubezki. Uh, to pick up the award on Emmanuel's behalf, please welcome the Birdman himself, Michael Keaton. Uh, this is terrific. Um, he sent me, Emmanuel Chivo, sent me a little something he would like me to read. He's a, a true artist, this, this man. Uh, Emmanuel Lubetsky's acceptance speech. I would like to thank the British Academy for this wonderful award. He would like to share it with the cast and the crew of Birdman, especially he says something very generous about me. We'll move right past that and um, go right to and spe uh, watching the, the him perform. Um, uh, and, and, to, and to my friend, <laughs> oh, well, why not? I um, watching, oh, sorry, and to my friend, our director, Alejandro, to his courage, his curiosity, and his genius to push us to make the limits to make this film so unique. He would also like to thank New Regency and Fox Searchlight. I would personally like to thank him for, for being an artist and a, and a mensch, and a wonderful, wonderful human being, and just, just a genius. So this is for Chibo. Thank you very much. Oh. Now we've arrived at the award for Outstanding Debut by a British Writer, Director or Producer. This is given in honour of Carl Foreman and presenting it are two of Britain's finest. One plays the evil brother of Thor and was also in Thor Horse, uh, War Horse um, and we, thaw, sorry, we saw the other in The Imitation Game. Of that I am absolutely Thor. Sure. Oh, Lord. Uh, please welcome Tom Hiddleston and Mark Strong. This being the British Academy of Film and Television Arts, such a great champion of British talent, it seems only right and correct that there be a uniquely British award in recognition of an artist who's made a significant contribution to film this year. And not just simply any contribution, but outstanding debut. My debut was as Dominic West's second in a Pistols at Dawn duel in a televised adaptation of Nicholas Nickleby. Um, I had to count from one to ten on screen on a personal level, not particularly outstanding. <laughs> Yeah, well, we all have to start somewhere. Thank Thor for that. Uh, these people have made an infinitely greater impression. The nominations for Outstanding Debut by a British Writer, Director or Producer are... Soldier? A real soldier? Gregory Burke, Jan Demange, 71. 71 tells the story of a young British soldier accidentally abandoned by his unit following a riot on the streets of Belfast in 1971. Unable to tell friend from foe, the recruit must survive the night alone and make his way back to safety through the disorientating and deadly landscape. <laughs> Elaine Constantine, Northern Soul. Northern Soul follows the sweeping of American soul music through the clubs of Northern England in the 60s and 70s and the profound effect it had on two young men whose lives would change forever. I don't know who you are, but do yourself a favour. Put that away. It's embarrassing. Uh, yes. Why have you come here? Hong Kao, lilting. Lilting focuses on a Cambodian Chinese mother mourning the death of her son. Her world is suddenly disrupted by the presence of a stranger who tries to connect with her without a common language, but through the memories of a man they both loved. Paul Katis, Andrew de Lobinier, Kajaki, the true story. Kajaki tells the true story of a group of British soldiers who were trapped in a minefield while stationed in Afghanistan. Out of this harrowing day came tales of bravery, selflessness, and tragic consequences for those who risked their lives to help each other. Stephen Beresford, David Livingstone, Pride. 
Set in the summer of 1984 and based on a true story, Pride depicts a group of gay and lesbian activists who raised money to help families affected by the British miners' strike. It's the extraordinary story of two seemingly alien communities who form a surprising partnership. To find out you had a friend you never knew existed, well, that's the best feeling in the world. And the BAFTA goes to Stephen Beresford and David Livingston for Pride. Oh my God. Um, well, uh, first of all, it's very odd to be here without Matthew Warchus, uh, who directed this, but I feel rashly 16 years ago he made another film and he's missed the moment. He's got a Tony Award, so he's fine. He has no room to put a BAFTA, but uh, Matthew helmed this and uh, was our leader the whole way down the line. Um, the outstanding element of it goes to all of our cast and all of our crew who were sensational from start to finish. Um, lastly, before Stephen comes on, I just have to say to my lovely wife, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, um, thank you BAFTA. Um, uh, it took me 20 years to find anyone to agree with me that gay and lesbian activists and a mining dispute which ended in defeat were the ingredients for a surefire commercial comedy smash. <laughs> Um, I'm very fortunate that the people I found were David Livingston, Cameron McCracken at Pathé, and above all, Matthew Warchus, who um, directed the film sublimely and beautifully. I'd like to thank um, our incredible cast and crew. Um, I'd like to thank Simon Bowles, Nadia Stacey, Charlotte Walter, and Tat Radcliffe. I'd like to thank, on a personal note, uh, my agent, Jessica Sykes, and my family, Fred Jean, Joanna Tom, and uh, Andrew, always my first and best dramaturgs. Uh, LGSM, Lesbians and Gays Support the Miners, um, raised money for the Delights community in South Wales for no other reason than that they saw that all our struggles have common cause. Um, we do incredible things when we all stand together. Uh, unite. Thank you.